walk us through that experience. Like how did it happen? Just what happened exactly to have the first incident? Uh, it was really, um, you know, in practice, you know, I'd, um, you know, I tend to do like, like a step through type move and, and, and I twisted it and uh, I wasn't sure I had, cause I had never tore my ACL before. And then, so mm-hmm. we fast forward a little bit, get the MRI and then, you know, it's completely torn. So I go through that surgery. So it was really just, it was a completely whole new, different process. And so it helped me form this new look on, you know, not just basketball, but kind of like, you know, just making sure I'm doing the right things and focusing a little bit more on the details, uh, you know, of school, uh, not basketball or school related as well, just my, you know, own life, you know, my faith as well. Mm. So it gave me a whole new different perspective. You recover from that first ACL injury. What was that like just getting back and playing basketball again? Uh, it was great. For like a month straight, I had smiled every time I got on the court. Uh, so it was great. It, it took a lot of hard work to get back on the court, a lot of getting back into shape and getting back to working out. But it, it was great. I felt I felt happy once I was able to, you know, get back. I believe at some point during your junior season, you started playing through the injury in a certain sense. I don't know if it was an ACL at that point or what it was, but you started playing injured in a sense, go through AAU season, also was injured, or not at least not 100% playing. And then obviously it happens at the NBA top 100 camp. But was that true? Like, were you playing injured to some extent? Like, was that pain still in your right knee going through your junior season then? There would be times where, you know, I was, I didn't feel like I could play, you know, to my full capability. So I wasn't 100 percent sure if I was injured or not, like what that was. I just wasn't 100 percent sure if I was, you know, able to play to my to my full capability. Wasn't, you know, as explosive as I had been before. Following EYBL, Peach Jam and all that, you end up going to the NBA Top 100 camp. And that's where I believe you end up tearing your ACL then. Take us through that whole situation. That was great. There were a lot of there were a lot of players there who mm-hmm. should knowledge and insight while we were playing uh, on the court and while we were off the court. Uh, I felt like it was a great environment to be in. Um, it was really competitive, uh, great spirit all the way around. Um, when when the injury came, it happened on the, the last day of the camp. Um, anytime, like, you, you get that type of pain, but you don't necessarily, like, automatically think that it, it's going to be one of those type of injuries. So I always kind of stayed positive and didn't really think that it was too serious of an injury. When you did end up finding out that it is an ACL and also partially torn meniscus, I believe, too, what went through your mind? There was a little bit of doubt that crept in because just because nobody ever would it was like once you get through that that first that first time you didn't you wouldn't ever like picture yourself getting hurt again. So uh, definitely, you know, the people around me, my parents and my coaches and my like my siblings, uh, they're really helping me, you know, uh, throughout the process. You know, just helping me stay positive. And, you know, also just prayer. Uh, so, you know, just praying every night, you know, for wisdom and strength uh, to, to get through this. I mean, he's everything. So I feel like, you know, whenever I have, you know, times where, where I'm struggling, I could just turn to him, you know, pray and ask ask for his help uh, through through whatever adversity I might be going through. So he's he's played, you know, if, if not the biggest part in, in all of this. Uh, I would say those are really the biggest factors in my recovery process. And once I got over that 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 hill, um, it was just kind of like, all right, I was in, back in that mode. All right, let's let's get back to it. Let's let's get back to work. So you are now, I believe, a few months into this now. I think five, six, seven months now, something like that. So how much longer do you feel like you're going to be a hundred percent and able to compete in scrimmages and games again? Oh uh, well, when I talked to my PT, he said I'm about, I'm about halfway there. So mm-hmm. uh, well, I'll almost I'll be at four months towards like the end of this month. Um, so I feel like I'm, I'm progressing pretty quickly and, um, I'm just, just trying to make sure that I'm building myself up. So that the likelihood of this, this injury happening again, won't ever happen. I know UNC fans, which we're going to get into next is going to be excited about you getting out there. Can they expect you to be ready hundred percent for an opening tip of your freshman season? Definitely. Definitely. You can, um, you know, expect me to be, you know, working as hard as possible to get back as soon as possible as I can, uh, make sure that my body's strong enough to, for that to compete on that level and uh, definitely going to follow the the trainer's plans and to the T and, and uh, just going to keep, going to keep uh, staying positive and, and whatever they have been planned for me, we'll, we'll follow that. Is there a certain target date? Like, is there a date that you're hoping to be a hundred percent or at least pretty close to hundred percent by? Um, so the, the typical recovery time, I think it's like from for either eight to nine months. So either within that, that may or June 
May or June period, we're gonna, uh, you know, be be tested and be down there, and we're gonna see uh, where I'm, what I'm, uh, what my body's like. I know you were already committed to UNC when it all occurred, so obviously I have to imagine that Coach Davis and everyone is well aware of the injury. So, have they been helping throughout the process at any extent? Like, have they even given you advice for it? Has the trainer over there helped you at any, to any extent? Like, take us to that if they have any impact. Definitely, they've had a huge impact in it. They've mm-hmm. uh, when, when the injury occurred, they really, they really helped out. Um, so, you know, just having them in my corner, it really helped a lot out a lot um, in constant contact with them. And they're always encouraging and helping me out for whatever, whatever they're able to do and whatever uh, they can do.